ability, but then he like put it away and got married and started a family and all of this. But well, that, like that leads us down the road then of being a medium or something else. Right. You know, it's so, yeah, the sixth just, sense. I see dead people. Yeah, something he didn't like want that. to do it anymore and he ignored it and went on to have his happy life. Right. So And then enter a demon who sensed his power and was like, I'm going to mess I'm that gonna up. I'm jack this guy up. See, it sounds oh. better with us talking about it. Because it doesn't, well, it doesn't are, flat out, it doesn't just straight up say that. It so that was one of the things. So uh, we talked about the bad things. I mean, I'm going to shift now that, to the cause... good things that I did like about it. Because okay. my first initial thoughts with this were, mm-hmm. I'm, I like this movie initially when it started because it didn't spell everything out for you. Right. It gave you visual cues and right. clues and things to look at and you could kind of fill the story in for yeah. yourself. And that's you and that's fine. And that's good, sure. That's great. Yeah, up we to don't a point. we don't need everything spelled out for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. And now maybe maybe I would need to watch this again to get more out of it. But I maybe? don't think so. Here's my problem. And I almost said this already. I I couldn't remember the name of the movie when I went. Oh no. <laughs> Terrible. I knew it started with an I, and it's like, oh, and it's like, okay, is this a movie that six months from now, or yeah. a year from now, yes. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna like, oh yeah, that possession thing, that oh yeah, yeah. I don't. What was that movie with what that, was that guy called? and that lady? It had Aaron and Eckhart. That... I love him. Yes. Great actor. Lots of good people in it. It had. I was gonna call her Melisandra. I don't have her name in front of me. <laughs> the red lady. From... The red lady <laughs> yeah. from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, I don't know what was... was happening with her. I put little notes here. Her character, because she played the mother uh-huh. of the boy, uh-huh. and who was the boy? The boy was Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, from Gotham. He yeah. was little Bruce Wayne. Yeah. He was really little in this. Very little in this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, his mother was played by the actress who plays Melisandre. Sorry, yeah. geez. I guess I'm terrible. I guess We're we terrible should about look this. up names. We haven't improved it <laughs> since episode four or five, whichever one I'm putting up. <laughs> Well, uh, we don't want to get bogged down in lots exactly. of Exactly. This is about whether it's entertainment, yeah. whether it's if enjoyable. If people watch Game of Thrones, they know they know the woman we're talking about. Right. So, but yeah, she was very, like, I kept, I couldn't help but make jokes. Because she's lovely. I, I love her. She's great. Um, but she was very expressionless and emotionless mm-hmm. in this. Mm-hmm. She was the mother. Her child was possessed. He was sitting in the middle of his room, you know, sitting there all creepy and heavy breathing and all of his stuff's on one side of the room and it's all dark and crazy lighting and she never made any other like no expression not not much she smiled a couple times and i was like oh my gosh she smiles (laughs) her face her face cracked she doesn't get to smile in game of thrones she's very you know but that's how she was in this also maybe that's just how she is i don't know maybe she's beautiful so she is absolutely she has that all of the but 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 all of the acting was very good her character i was a little concerned about though. So, and I'm kicking myself now and I owe Lonely Bob an apology for this because actually there's another movie he suggested and I shouldn't be bringing it up now. Never mind. I'm sorry. Well, it brings up religious aspects in a movie and stuff. Like what if you knew there was an afterlife? But I've got to get I've got to find that movie. I was going to say, get a hold of him and find well, out no, what's Well, no, he sent it to me already. I've got it written down. So oh, okay, it's just something else we have to check out. Let's check it out. So, Okay, so that brings us back to the fact that this one, everything was stripped away. There just wasn't enough of an explanation. Yeah, I everything think I wanted more. Solid. I think I wanted a lot more. And everything was solid, but it just, yeah. the story was what disappointed here for us, at least for me. But, and, and then they, because then this thing that they were going at, like, uh, the movie starts out, you get to see what he does. He's mm-hmm. in somebody's mind and he's exercising this parasite or whatever. But then, like, that was just a, well, that was just a regular standard demon. Yeah, that was Okay, nothing. well, this boy, he's infected with an arch demon. So there's, like, this hierarchy, but then they don't talk, that's it. Yeah, yeah. They're, like, regular demons, arch demons, that's it. Well, they're parasites, so they're not even really demons. You know what I mean? So we're, yeah. there's conflicts there that, that never yeah. get resolved. So I'm thinking of virtuosity. And, well, I shouldn't even bring that up because that would be a spoiler. Um, but there's also... Um, uh, Lord of Illusions, where yeah. Harry Demore yeah. uh, finds himself drawn to the dark side and having to do so. There was so many, so much possibility to this that yeah. for me that was what was disappointing. I think a less experienced viewer 
is going to like this movie, maybe? A less experienced viewer? <laughs> what are trying, you, new? I'm trying not to... I have never seen movies before. I need a starter movie. <laughs> I'm trying not to call us old, I guess. Oh, a younger person? A so younger you're person. the younger set. Uh, the less experienced... I mean, if you... We've seen a I lot of movies. Of... Like I said, there's a dozen movies that I could think of yeah. that have similarities to it. But nothing is quite as... Yeah, I mean, it was a new take. I guess it started I mean, off as a new take on the movie, so right. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not yeah. sure what went well, wrong with it. What's your What's your so, rating on it? Well, and I was gonna say, I just wrote a couple notes really okay. quick because we watched the little bit of the making of thing afterwards. Yeah. And because okay, uh, I wanted more explanation. <laughs> yeah, we were looking for more. Yeah. Still didn't really get it. Nope. But we learned two things. I learned that it took 23 days to film, Mm -hmm. and they only had five or six takes per scene. That was it. So, like, if it wasn't perfect, we're moving on. Five or six takes, that's it. Mm -hmm. They weren't going to sit there and do 30 takes till it was perfect. So, we learned that. 23 days to film, so they were in a hurry. Uh Uh-huh. And, um... I'm going to say none of that showed in the production, I don't think. I never um, looked at it. No, but it makes me wonder because yeah, there's nothing wrong with filming it that fast, and if you know exactly what you want, which that's what all of the actors said that the director, writer, director, mm-hmm. he knew exactly what he wanted, and he told them this is what you're going to do. They did it perfect. We're moving on. So he knew exactly what he wanted to do. So yeah, I think if there were any. Any mistakes? Maybe I missed. Uh, I shouldn't say you, that. Broadly, but, broadly using the word mistakes. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, like for us, there there were mistakes for us because we were looking for more. Uh-huh. Then it must have happened before that, obviously. Okay. Um, but anyway, so we learned that it took well, only twenty three days to film, and I also the actress we were talking about mm-hmm. five minutes ago, mm-hmm. Mila Sandre, she that actress said. Um, I didn't. Oh, I thought I wrote her exact quote down, but she actually said in the making of that she wished they'd had more time. Oh, okay. Do you remember her saying that? I, I vaguely. I just remember her mentioning that briefly, but yeah. Um, it's tough. We don't do movies. We don't make movies. No. We know other people that do and no. stuff. And so, I think. We could talk a bit about talk. my my brief um, acting your acting um, career there. Sure. Yes, my. it lasted about a day. I sucked so hard they were like, "Never mind." We'll just use somebody's um, arm. Cutting room floor. We're just gonna. There you go. Bye bye. But the um, the fact that I think it's got to be a marriage of that. So I understand wanting to shoot, get a specific scene, yeah. but a little bit of improvisation there too yeah. may have helped. Yeah. Open up like if they had more time, maybe. Right. But I, well, I, I, if she felt re- like maybe she needed more, because I was, you know, looking for more emotion and expression and stuff from her, mm-hmm. she stood out to me as like there's something wrong with this one character, mm-hmm. and she was the one in the making of that said she she wished that she had more time. Okay. So maybe there was a you know. Okay. Maybe, maybe she didn't get okay. a chance to get into her character and really feel what she was doing. Maybe it was too like, come on, we're going. Okay. Five takes, that's it. You don't like any of the five. Well, one of them's yeah. going to have to work because we're moving on. All right. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. What's your rating on it? And oh, what's your recommend? Well, shoot. I'm giving it a three. I okay. liked it. I liked it. I didn't like it as well as I wanted to. I wanted this to be a four or a five. Four yeah. and a half. Yeah. A three, but like I said, it's a I, fair recommend and a... I really liked parts of it. Yeah. Parts and, of it, certain scenes I could give fours. <laughs> and like um, I said, I, I'm probably not going to remember this. I know I'm not going to. Yeah, I've already know. almost forgotten it. Wow. Wait, what Good were we thing talking you took about? Notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, shoot. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. Okay. I would probably only recommend it to certain people. All right. I don't know. So, on that note, then, let's uh, garbage in, garbage out. So, I was initially going to say that we were caught up on American Horror Story, 
and we started and we're caught up on Z Nation. Yes. Season four. I love that stupid show. But then uh, a week went by and we each fell ill in one way or another, and uh, we might be behind one episode at this point. It was a rough week. It was a rough week for us. I'm not going to complain. There are so many other people out there in the world having rougher weeks than we are. So, yeah. Um, anyhow, we'll live. We'll be just fine. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, we started our second season of that. Mm-hmm. Growing on you anymore? Still kind of indifferent? Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah. I mean, I, enjoy, it's a I enjoyed the first soap opera. Right. Is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's not as um, down and dirty as I thought it was going to be. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've had a few sex scenes and a few, you know, killings. Yeah, that but were it was a little still graphic, it's still on regular TV. But it's TV. still pretty it's not, scrubbed. Yeah. yeah. Not that I needed it at all. <laughs> Gritty and I don't know. I know. Uh, uh, These cable you? shows have come a long way since Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> but, I was going to say I'm there st- was no Spartacus there to you ruined after oh, Spartacus, man. are you? Anyhow. Yeah. If you're looking uh, for graphic. So, but yeah. No, it's good, though. But it's, it's starting good, though, to... and I'm interested. The second season, I'm a little more interested yeah. in where they're going. You know, there's uh, that little bit of, you know, there's some lies and some secrets and people doing things to each other. That always gets me interested because yeah. I always want to see how it plays out. Right. See if the people who deserve get what they well, get. Get what, what they deserve. Get. That's what yeah. Get. See what they... See what happens to them, and uh, right. unfortunately, I know. Well, it's, okay, so that was going to say spoiler. Yeah. Is this a spoiler coming? Because I don't know any specifics. Okay, good. I only know. I know a lot of specifics, unfortunately, because a lot of people uh, close to us watched it and talked about it a okay. lot. Okay, I wasn't sure I'd ever check it out. It okay. wasn't a thing back then. I wasn't dying to see it, I'm, or so. So I I didn't hide from spoilers. So I know a lot. Okay, well, I only know in general then that certain people were disappointed with how it ended or had a mediocre reaction to the ending or yeah. felt the yes. ending was mediocre. Um, well, so this I, is Jax's journey. Yeah. And a lot of people were unhappy with where his journey took him. They were expecting something and hoping for something and it just Oh, well, see, now you're spoiling it for me because I'm starting to think and put together. Really? I don't know. We'll see. Stop ta- Don't think about All it. All right. Well, anyhow, whatever. Um, other things. What are you... Uh, I'm, still, I'm still slugging my way through uh, Dance of Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a long one. It's pretty massive. Um, um, I'm almost done with Shutter Island. Shutter Island. See, I remember seeing the movie. Yeah. I don't... Oh, and of course we're talking about the books. The books Shutter we're Island. Both, yeah. yeah. Books, both of them. Um, yeah. Shutter Island. Uh, I, I started to listen to part of that it. with you. And I just, I couldn't get into it. You only listened sure. to the first, like... Yeah, I'm not sure if it was the... Maybe there was too much going on for me to... to fo- my simple mind couldn't hold it all. Oh, Ma- maybe I needed to focus. You also had it on while yep. I was doing some work or whatever in the right. other room, too. So. Well, in the beginning of the book is him talking about his childhood and stuff. Yeah, that was so. a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and... Right. Um, so, not that they're the same. Yeah. Maybe they... Vastly different, anyhow. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good book. Um, there's, of course, there's a lot more in it, and a lot more. Um, there always is. You get a lot more description and detail and stuff, and it's kind of a fun setting. You know, it's an island. It's a mental institution. It's a little on the scary side because you don't really know what's going on there. Yeah. I mean, okay. I've seen the movie, so, so kind of. But, you know? So this is just really enhancing it, though. Okay, I mean, well, I already good. know. I couldn't totally remember because we saw Shutter Island sort of when it came out. Right. So I was having, I'm like, okay, well, it's not what you think. It's got the big twist and all of that. So I'm, I can't. Is it a double twist or a triple twist? (laughs) So I can't remember some of the details, but I do remember the guy's story and where he's going with all of this. So. Okay. um, But anyway, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good book and I'm almost done with it. So. All right. Well, what do you have for Crawling Chaos? I don't have anything. You don't? You had it today. Oh, okay. Why don't well, you go? Well, I'll do that then. Good. So before we get into our crawling chaos, 
Uh, you had a couple of more comments to tack on to the end uh, here regarding the movie. Oh, was well. It-